Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. Today I've got an absolutely stunning, like brand new condition, Freedom motorcycle trailer, enclosed, aluminum sided, top of the line trailer. This is the V-Nose with the aluminum tread plate, diamond tread plate all over the front and sides. Uh, the V-Nose has a slant in the front here also to make it super aerodynamic. You could actually tow this behind a four cylinder if you wanted to. It's nice and light. Um, it's, it's light, but it's heavy duty. This was special ordered with the six inches of additional height on the inside so you could stand up inside of it. Um, it also has a ton of options on it. I have the original brochure uh, uh, invoice when it was sold from the dealer. The, the base trailer itself was $2,685. That's including the additional height, the aluminum tread plate, the 15 inch rims and tires. Then there's a bunch of options the previous owner put on it, starting with the Triumph motorcycle graphics on the side. And then in the back, check this out. This is an aluminum uh, CNC machined uh, Triumph sign put on the back here with the Triumph Daytona graphics. It's got the American flag, the British flag, some really cool um, graphics on the back of it. Uh, this trailer is fully equipped with LED lighting, aluminum tread plate on the bottom in the back. It's a uh, um, drop ramp rear door. Kyle, go ahead and open the door. I'll show them what the inside of it looks like. The uh, It's black, which is beautiful, and it looks pretty badass. Um, it has a not only a drop ramp with the tape on it, but it has a flip down so you can easily put a motorcycle in here without slipping or anything like that. The um, the uh, don't come up here, Kenny, because it, the the trailer is not hooked up to a to a trailer, uh, to a thing, and I don't want to unweight it and have it roll down the hill. So um, inside here, this is comes from the factory with the plywood on the walls, which is really nice. That allows you to um, not not dent the. You can lean a motorcycle against a wall, it won't dent it. It has with it, check this out, Kenny, uh, an additional hubcap. It has two hubcaps with it, two 15-inch hubcaps, but it has a brand new spare. It has a um, mat that goes on the outside. It has a full-size 205 75 15 spare tire. This is 100 I think I think this is actually closer to $200. I know I bought one for my trailer. Um, I don't have the receipt for this, but this is a brand new, never been used. Check out, check this out. It's still got the uh, nubbies on it, on the, on the tire. Um, this comes with a with the posse wheel chocks. See, these are removable wheel chocks. They go right in the floor. It's totally set up for hauling motorcycles already. You just slide that into the floor, and then it has um, on both sides. These are the uh, pieces of wood that come with it to chalk up the tires, so it won't roll on you when you unhook it. And it's got six, three on each side, tie downs. Put it in the floor. They don't come with this many. This is an upgrade. The the plywood on the side, the extra height, the vinos. Um, in here, it's got. Uh, an additional removable chrome wheel chalk. And you also get in here, this is a uh, um, wheel that goes on the front of the trailer on the jack so you can roll it around. One person can roll this comfortably around your, your driveway very easily. Once once you put that wheel on there, it kind of makes it like, it's kind of like pushing around a big wheelbarrow. So it makes it much easier to move around the yard when it's not hooked up. And when you want to put it down, in the dirt it's got a uh thing that goes oops it's actually got some dirt in it from the last time it was in the dirt but this this goes down into the ground so um keeps the the uh the tongue from getting stuck in the dirt so and also comes a little teddy bear that's extra just kidding must have been his kids or something so this is actually a uh this if you're displaying your motorcycle in the dirt this this goes down into the dirt and then you can um you can put your bike on the center stand and it won't sink so all these options for the motorcycle come with it in this box and an additional wheel chock. So you have a total of two wheel chocks, six tie down hookups, and it comes with, check this out, also has a tie down, pit posse uh, tie down rack, which is real nice. So that, And it comes with three of the crank style tie downs and a bungee cord. And I got to show you this in a second. This, this here, this last piece, if you don't want this, you don't have to buy it. This is not included. It, it is listed as a separate item for sale. So Kyle, go ahead and pull this out for me, will you? This is, remember I told you this thing was a, a, a mobile Triumph Museum? Where do, you, where do you see this? It's bungee corded in. I, uh, go ahead. This mounts to the outside of the trailer. And the, the collector that owned this had a custom vintage Triumph, which um, he would display at shows. Go ahead, come around the airway. Again, this is not included with the trailer. If you want to buy this, if you don't buy this, this is going right into the New England Motorcycle Museum.
where uh, it's going to stay forever. But if you do buy the trailer and you want this, this is going to be listed separately. It's a complete history of the Triumph 67, uh, indicating how many were made, all kinds of different racing history, sales brochures, uh, Loudon winning Laconia. And this, this piece alone costs $150, just this one piece right here uh, for the, the frame hand uh, handmade um, Triumph literature. So like I said, this is, this is not only a motorcycle trailer, it's really a, a, a Triumph um, museum, a little portable Triumph museum. This is not included with the purchase price. This is priced separately if you want it. However, inside the trailer, take a look. There's a Triumph patch, uh, some Triumph, uh, other Triumph literature in there. The trailers, uh, make sure the trailer doesn't roll. So, um, and on the left-hand side, take a look at the the uh, metal signs in here. There's a metal Triumph, Ride of Triumph Tiger sign. All the literature inside here, the signs and the um, the uh, Triumph uh, um patch are included so everything that's mounted on side the trailer is included the spare tires included the tie downs are included the extra uh the extra um hubcap is included so the only thing that's not included with, with the buy it now price or the auction price is this this is priced separately you'll see a line item for this if you want it great if not it's going right in the new england motorcycle museum so uh if you do have a triumph and you do like taking it to shows this is like the ultimate display piece. You've got this on that side and then come around this side over here. Check this out. And you got the Triumph Motorcycles logo over here. So it's kind of like a whole history of the Triumph in the 60s. So again, I've got the, hold this, hold this, we hold this for me. The, um, I've got the title to the trailer right here, uh, which isn't really required in Connecticut for, for uh, trailers under 3,000 pounds, but um, it does come with one. Actually, it's a certificate of origin, the manual for it. And also, here's the original invoice for just the trailer. It was $2,685. Um, and then the list of accessories and everything and the pricings for it. The tire the tire chocks were $100. The ratchet straps were $50. The hubcaps were $50. The, the metal sign on the back was $100. And then the uh, graphics was $150. So with tax, it was $3,300 tied up in the trailer. And it's like brand new condition. It's only been used to go to motorcycle shows. And it's been stored indoors here at the museum since we got it. So um, we were kind of hoping to put it in the museum and keep it, but we need the funds to pay for the expenses running the museum. So good luck bidding on it. If you have any questions, give us a call. Kenny, is there anything like you, you'd like to add? No. Uh, if you're serious about the trailer, message us your postal code and we can look into shipping. We don't normally ship trailers, but we got some guys who could take care of this for you. So give us a call. Yep. Good luck bidding on it. And, uh, like I said, it's in, in, in virtually brand new condition. If you look at the front frame triangle right here, there's no rust or pitting on the metal. The jack is in perfect condition. It's like it just came out of the box. The chains are beautiful. All the lights work perfectly. These are the LED lights all the way around, including the fender lights. It has aluminum fenders, um, top of the line radial tires. Just a beautiful trailer. Freedom trailers, five by eight, enclosed motorcycle trailer. Of course, you can haul any kind of bike with it, but it does have the Triumph logos, which looks pretty cool. So good luck bidding on the bike. I mean, excuse me, good luck pitting on the trailer, and God bless America.